Someone recently asked, Since life is not fair, why does God want us to play fair? And what we have to ask ourselves is, what is fair? A saint and a sinner both die at the end of their lives. They both have the same destination. Who is to say the sinner had a better life than the saint? Who is to say that a person who treats others with cruelty and simply has to stuff down their inner misery with as many pleasures as they can possibly consume in order to not feel pain and guilt than the saint who has a clean conscience and has found an inner peace and a joy and compassion from helping others. Which one has to worry about being caught by groups they've cheated and which one has created meaningful relationships and a life of purpose there is a reason the godfather part three is about the mafia family trying to get into legitimate business it's because they know that living with a burden on your shoulders is no life at all is never worth your inner peace when you live an open and honest life you have no secrets you have no shame and the reward is greater than any ill-gotten gains so it's not that life is unfair and it's not that God wants us to play fairly. It's that we have shown that it is in our best interests to live an honest life because it's the only way to have a peaceful life. And even though we're all going in the same direction to the same destination, that path we take is the difference and it can be a pleasant and peaceful journey or it can be a dark path where we always have to look over our shoulders having the best life has nothing to do with having the most stuff there's no prize at the end for having had the most riches the best life is a content life. It doesn't mean not being ambitious, but it means working towards big goals with full presence. Some people do have an advantage based on where they were born, what family they were born to, but no matter who you are we all have to accept where we are set conscious and ambitious goals and strive to achieve them with your full attention in the present moment no one says you have to follow man's laws or God's laws but if you break man's laws there is the inner turmoil of worrying about being caught or the inner disturbance from hurting others. When you break God's law, which really is just treating others like we wish to be treated, we may find ourselves surrounded by other people who treat others poorly. And so we live a life 
of cruelty surrounded by cruelty. A life where no one is honest and everyone's suspicious. So no, you don't have to follow God's laws, man's laws, but if you bring enough consciousness and mindfulness to the outcomes of these paths that we can choose, then a wise answer clearly emerges. And that is, of course, one of peace and honesty. Because by putting out peace and honesty, we get it returned so much more. <laughs>